Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video, I'm just going to explain you how you can import a variable within Matomo Tag Manager thanks to the API. And I would like for this to thank uh, Thomas, um, Thomas, who spent some time answering me on GitHub and uh, really helped me actually figure it out um, what I was doing wrong. So the typical use case is the, the following one. Uh, so you have a website uh, such as the one that I'm currently uh, showing you now and um, you have the migration. So let's imagine that you migrated from uh, Google Tag Manager to uh, Matomo Tag Manager and in fact, oh, that's not updated. Um, and in fact, uh, one just um, send you the given uh, data layer. And as you can see uh, within this, uh, this data layer, uh, you have uh, different variables and you don't want actually to write them by hand within the Matomo tag manager because it's gonna, uh, gonna take you some time. Okay, here for example, we have a data layer which is composed of uh, 10 variables and uh, we don't want to write uh, all of them one by one within Matomo tag manager. So here is my, uh, my Matomo tag manager. As you can see, I do not have uh, those uh, variable yet within uh, within Matomo Tag Manager, I only have two, whereas I should have 12. Uh, so the big question is how can I create automatically all those in order to go within uh, Matomo Analytics? Um, so the answer is of course the API of uh, Matomo Tag Manager that you can find over here, so in Module Tag Manager. Here the most important thing that you need to note is the sentence that they're putting over here. Because here, this is the thing that if you miss it, uh, you're gonna be screwed. In fact, when you work on a Matomo Tag Manager, the current version that uh, you are seeing within the UI is what they call the draft version, okay? And this draft version has a specific ID. And in order to get this ID, you need to call the following method, which is tag manager get container that you will find a little bit here um, down below. So uh, as I'm a great person, I prepared this. Um, I prepared this tutorial. So here, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you the magic uh, formula, which is the following one. OK, so um, so here it's uh, just we are making a curl request because we want to make an HTTP request. Here is the endpoint and here are the different parameters that we are going to happen to this HTTP request. So we are going to call the method named getContainer for the ID side that we are considering plus the ID container, which represents the ID of your container in order to get um, a data feed showing us, in fact, the draft version. Okay, so this is the draft version and this is the one to which you need to import the data to. So it means that here the ID container version is 88. So the big mistake that I was doing at the beginning is that I was looking out uh, the ID container version, for example, this one, it was not the, the right one. So I mixed that, then I found another one uh, and so on and so forth. In fact, I just thought that it was the number which was the higher, which will represent uh, the version I will import the data within, which is not true, actually. The one that you need to look at is the draft one, in my case, that's the number 88. Okay, uh, so how could I know all those different parameters? Just because through the API, you will get the get container, which is uh, the following one. No, that's not the following one. Uh, get container something, get container, yeah, probably this one is going to give you the, the ID, including the one of the draft uh, that you need. And then uh, what you need to do is that you need to call the add variable which is somewhere over here okay here you get the trigger so probably you are getting the variable not far uh, do, do, do. let's okay variable uh, or to add add container variables and here are the different parameters that you need to call uh, which will end up in a request such as this one the one that you can see over here uh, so you need here to put the container version so in my case 88 then you need to call the, the type of variables. In my case, uh, those are variables which are of a data layer. And here, parameters. So you just need to put it uh, within those uh, brackets. And here after, you need to put the name of your data layer and then the, the other name uh, attributed to it. And that's it. OK, uh, so now how can I make all those requests? Well, basically, I did a shell script in which I'm going to pass, in fact, a different uh, variable one after the other one and that should do the work. 
so in order to do so, what I did uh, is that so I need to, uh, do, 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 yes, uh, I need to access it, and I think I call something like Matomo test on which I have my script. So normally, if I do the things right, if I launch this given script. I should see all my uh, variables coming coming through over here. So let's uh, let's go for it. Uh, so here is my script. Okay, here is my script, and just gonna execute it with uh, like this. Okay, sounds pretty good. Uh, and now let's refresh this page. Okay, and now as you can see, all my variables have been imported. So now I can in fact play with those variables as I want. So I can just create, for example, a custom HTML tag with the classic alert tag. So it's gonna just be like a tiny script. I'm gonna do like this, this, and this. In which I just put my uh, my alert uh, system. And then uh, I can in fact insert uh, the different value that I wish to show. So I have no idea if I can just call them like this. Yeah, I gender and uh, well, no, I should not write it like this, maybe more like, uh, yeah, interest and so on and so forth. Okay, so every time a page view load and let's see if that's gonna work this way. Yep, yep, and let's refresh this page. Okay, interesting. So probably I should, uh, I just should have had something. Uh, hmm, not 300% sure that's gonna work better, but let's give it a try anyway. Uh, and publish, uh, publish the new version. Well, even if it doesn't work, so okay, here it works. Uh, it's just that I need finally to remove remove those two. Um, let's just put the gender, okay. And let's And that's it. So as you can see, the variable of my data layer could easily be picked up and I can easily uh, show them afterward. Doesn't really matter if they are coming from Google Tag Manager or somewhere else. And here I find out a way of out, uh, how to import them uh, in a row within, um, within Matomo Tag Manager. It's just a question of picking out the right ID. Hope you enjoy uh, this given video. Thanks for watching.